You know, uh, I, I often cite, some of you would have heard me say this before. It's something I read in a uh, very useful book on, our, on the India-U.S. relations, that when Nehru first went to America, uh, there were 3,000 Indian Americans. When Indira Gandhi went, it first time SPM, it was 30,000. When Rajiv Gandhi went, it was 300,000. When Narendra Modi went, it was 3.3 million. Uh, so I mention that because I think, one, there is a quantitative side of it. But I think there's also, as I said, it's the, the uh, skills, the talent, the contribution uh, which the diaspora has made there. You know, uh, and uh, I mean, I, I still remember uh, this when I was ambassador. Uh, I was meeting a very well-known politician. I will tell Eric the name privately later on, uh, from the deep south. And you know, he, he actually told me, saying that, look, you know, I had this view of Indians. And, and then, uh, I, you know, my wife had some issue, and she went to this doctor who was an Indian, and he was so good. And so why I say this is people eventually put a face to a country. Uh, when we speak about members of the diaspora, uh, now, sometimes people are not conscious of it, okay? I mean, I'm not saying everybody, when, particularly in America, ask people, okay, what's the country of your origin? I mean, otherwise your conversation would not go beyond that. But by and large, when uh, in America people see the diaspora, members of the diaspora do well, they associate it with their image of India. And that then shapes their views about, uh, about India. I mean, it is true all over the world, but I would say it is particularly true of the United States because the United States in many ways is a very unique society and because it has immigration from so many different sources. It has a way of using its immigration flows to also create a kind of a foreign policy uh, metrics. And I think in that, the diaspora for us uh, has been a very positive factor. You know, in the last, uh, uh, let us say, we take the late 90s uh, uh, really as, as when India-US relationship started to change course, uh, you know, or you could say pick Clinton's visit to India just as an easy uh, reference point and then uh, take it on from there. No question, it's, you know, the geopolitics, you know, end of the Cold War, all of that mattered. But I also think that a very equally powerful parallel happening was actually the growth, of, you know, H-1B did as much as the end of the Cold War to shape uh, India-U.S. relations. 